All right, guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to program this controller today. I'm still testing it out, so I will have a review soon, hopefully in the next couple days or so. But um, right now, I just kind of want to talk to you about programming it and how that works. So let's do that. All right, guys, so here we go. We're going to check out programming the Astro C40 controller without a computer. Um, so we have it connected to the PS4 right now. So you're going to want to plug it in with the USB cable. Now this button on the back is going to let you program it. So what you want to do, hold this button until you feel the controller vibrate. Now you're going to press whichever back button you want to program. So I'm going to program this one here. And then once you do that, you're going to press the button you want to set it to. And um, you will get a vibration. And once that's done, you can, you can use it. That's basically it. It's pretty simple. Um, so once again, hold the program button until the controller vibrates. Press the button you want to program. We're going to do the left one now. And I might like mine on circle, so we're going to press circle. One more vibrate, and then we're done. Okay, now we're going to look at programming the controller on a computer. So first we're going to want to go to Astro's website, and I'll link it down below. But um, you can download the software for Mac and PC, which is nice for those Mac users out there. So you're going to download the software and you're going to come to this screen. On this screen, it's going to ask us to plug in the controller and switch it to wired mode. So I'm going to do that now. All right, controller is detected now. Um, so you can, as you can see, we have our two profiles here, one and two. And um, the cool thing is that it recognizes that I manually programmed the buttons on the back. That's kind of cool. I can see at the top, it just told me that there is a firmware update. So we're going to go ahead and do that update now. It's always good to do those firmware updates to make sure we have the latest software to avoid issues with the controller. And we are done. Okay, firmware updated. Let's go ahead and click done. Cool. And let's, um, let's check out the software. So let's see what's in the gear up here. All right, so we got the software version. That's for the app. We got auto update. Uh, we've got the controller firmware and auto update and um, we got some legal stuff let's make sure yep controller is up to date cool all right so let's go ahead and um we're going to create a new profile so we're going to switch from default and let's see we got unmapped unmapped um let's go ahead and create a new one all right so we are going to name it go shuki Cool. Don't need a description. Let's create it. And um, we're going to view... Oh, I don't think I selected it. Let me go back. All right. There we go. Go Shuki and view profile. Okay. So cool. Looks like you can map just about anything on here to whatever you like, which is cool. Um, we're only going to change UL and UR for me. Um, but if you do want to change other ones, that is an option. So let's see. We're going to change the UL to circle. I was pressing the button on the keyboard that doesn't work I was just testing it but okay cool so we got circle we got X on the back I mean obviously do whatever you like this is what I like um, but cool let's um yeah let's go in the maybe we can sync it to the controller see how quick that goes and cool didn't have to cut away all right let's move over to sticks so here you can um, change the sensitivity on the sticks and uh, oh cool so one cool thing in here is you can actually the sticks register on the computer software. That's definitely something not a lot of pro controllers do. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, definitely something I'll have to mess with as I play with the controller. But so I think we'll just leave them um, as normal. Um, but definitely kind of cool that you can um, you can change that. Let's go to the triggers. Tr triggers. Okay, there we go. Cool, so here we can change the trigger sensitivity. Oh, cool. So the triggers also respond when you press them on the controller. And um, I'm going to have to look into this. So you can change the sensitivity at certain presses of it. I'm going to have to mess with this and kind of figure out what this does. But um, that's pretty cool that you can change the sensitivity of them. Let me try the... Huh. Cool. All right, let me put that back where it was. All right, so there you go. There's the uh, left trigger 
right trigger okay cool so i have the trigger stop the manual stop on so that's what happens when you press it doesn't go all the way it goes up to about 40 percent let me turn that off and there we go 100 percent cool awesome awesome so there's a kind of look at the trigger sensitivity got a lot of audio settings which i expected from since it is an astro controller um so yeah a lot of settings you can you can use the headphones wirelessly on this controller which is great um, you got speaker volume, you got side tone, you've got mic out, and then you got an equalizer for the sound, so you can set up the bass and all that stuff if you're into that. Cool. Let's um, let's move on over to effects. What do we got in here? All right, awesome. So we got the rumble sensitivity or intensity. I'm sorry. Um, so this is one thing I do like on certain pro controllers is when you can change the sensitivity. Or the intensity of the uh, the rumble. Some of them just kind of go from earthquake to nothing. Um, it's kind of on or off. But this you can change the percentage which is great. And you can change the brightness of the little LED light there on the, on the touchpad. So cool. Let's sync the changes we made. I didn't change too much. Um, but there you go. There's a look at the, um, the software for the controller. So this is kind of a quick video on. Um, well, I guess it wasn't too quick. But a quick video on how to program this controller on your computer. And without a computer. Um, but if you have any um, comments, drop them below, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel, and um, look out for my review coming soon.